So just a couple of examples of principles. Um, I think one advantage is that there, you're certainly able to more easily achieve global consensus on principles than you would be on, say, a model law. Um, I think there are cultural differences, and certainly, you know, I don't think the EU and US would be able to agree on a model privacy law that applies across sectors, whereas I think there's this um, uh, general consensus about the fair information practice principles that can at least serve as a bridge between, um, between different areas and, and discussion. Um, I think a second advantage of principles is the ability to evolve. Um, you know, I think a couple of years ago, we noticed that uh, there was almost a slavish adherence to these principles of notice and choice, and those became the, the primary fair information practice principles on which a lot of the public policy debate was centered. Um, and I think we realized that, you know, these led to really long privacy policies that consumers don't read, let alone understand. And I think there was a certain um, thought that the fair information practice principles placed too much of a burden on consumers to sift through privacy policies, to determine which companies had better privacy protection and do business with those companies. But I think we wanted to shift the onus of privacy protection onto businesses. So I think if this, this had come up in a legislative context, I think it would have been very difficult for us to, um, to, uh, to uh, amend laws. 